Do you believe what you said, that Putin can't remain in power? I wasn't then, nor am I now, articulating a policy change. I was expressing the moral outrage that I feel, and I make no apologies for it. Joe Biden on Monday protected the unscripted comments he made at the conclusion of an imperative discourse in Poland at the end of the week in which he said that Russian President Vladimir Putin cannot stay in power, which had incited differences among all the senior figures within his administration to play down the comments within the conference of worldwide feedback. The intrusion of Ukraine is totally unacceptable and said the comment does not weaken political endeavors by the US and European partners to seek after peace and arrange a conclusion to the assault of Ukraine. Just to be clear, are you confident that Vladimir Putin sees it that way, that he will not use this as an escalatory? Uh... I don't care what he thinks. Look, here's the thing. He's going to do what he's going to do. Most Americans, the last few years were very hard, stretching them to the breaking point. But billionaires and large corporations got richer than ever. And why Russian and Ukraine mediators continue talks on Tuesday in Turkey, on Sunday, the day after Biden caught Putin a butcher and said he might not stay in control, French President Emmanuel Macron cautioned against the utilization of feral language in now unstable circumstances. Britain moreover separated itself from the U.S. comment. The Kremlin said the personal insults advance undermine relations between the U.S. and Russia. As on Monday, on his comment, Biden was adamant and said he was not bothered that his comment will be translated as a call for administration change or that it will be utilized by Russian proselytizers to escalate further tension.